Back braces and posture supports are really, really tempting, but they are a terrible idea. And in this video, we're gonna tell you exactly why you might be tempted to use them, what you should do instead, and a little tech device that we've come across that may change the outcome of this whole video. Some of our most widely watched videos are on posture supports and videos we've done in the past many years ago. And they get a lot of comments and a lot of questions. So we thought we'd remake this video, try and come up with something that really explains a lot more about why you may be tempted in detail to go down that route of these posture supports and braces that people wear and why this actually isn't gonna be a good idea. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll really understand what's gonna be right for you. And maybe this little tech device that we'll talk about a little bit more later on in the video, maybe that can help you be the game changer changer that'll really work to change your posture and help your back pain for the long term. And do stay tuned to the end because we're running a little giveaway on today's video. So we thought it would be really helpful to start this video out by giving you an overview of what's going to be causing the back pain and what better tool to demonstrate that than our little spine here. The spine itself is predominantly going to be injured when we're talking about lower back pain in the lower segment. So that's L4-5, L5-S1 region. That's the ones that commonly become uh, bulging when we're talking about the discs or just general degeneration, wear and tear of the facet joints as well as other more complicated conditions. But ultimately, it's a load bearing structure and that's really, really important. And we've got muscles down here that work as well to support that load. Now, if you for a moment, if you're watching us on your smartphone, if you're watching us on your tablet or your laptop, hold it out in front of you for the next couple of seconds while I'm talking. Notice how the weight becomes more heavy or the laptop or the device becomes more heavy. That's because the further forwards and away from the center that device is, the more it effectively weighs. Now, if we think about our posture, we've got a big rib cage up here and a head and shoulders, etc. And as our posture sl slopes forwards, it increases the distance away our body is or the main mass of our body is actually placed from the lower back and that magnifies load on our lumbar spine. So when we're thinking about posture, when we're thinking about your lower back pain, we're thinking we wanna get it in line as much as possible. And what long-term is going to maintain that? It's gonna be the muscles. It's gonna be your habits that really support that posture. And when it comes down to supporting good posture, which is imperative for recovering effectively from back pain, you won't recover if you're over like this all day. We need to address two key factors. Number one is going to be the conscious effort, the understanding of what is upright, what is good posture. And number two is we need to build the muscles that support good posture, those muscles that run along the back that are all too often hunched over all day while we're sat at a computer or watching TV or traveling, and they're stretching out and they're not used the way in which they should be. So that gets us on to really the second part of this video. So, so far we've talked about the posture being terrible. So why wouldn't you choose a brace? What is it doing? It's pulling you back. You put the t-shirt on or the straps on and it holds you upright and sorts out that postural issue. But from experience seeing patients in clinic and members of our back in shape, using these devices helps encourage laziness. And yes, there are certain small, very, very small percentage of cases where there's something a little bit more complicated going on. And if that's you, then we understand this video is not necessarily for you, but the bulk of people, 99.9% .9 of you guys, don't get trapped with being lazy. These postural supports may well remind you the moment you put it on to stand up straight, which was the essential part one, but they do absolutely nothing for part two, which is strengthen and support those muscles. In fact, the opposite. While you're using these devices to hold your body up, your muscles aren't getting the stimulation they need. And it's a case of use it or lose it. And if you don't use this, those muscles to effectively hold your body up every day, then you will lose the ability for those muscles to function effectively. And that gets you going down a one-way track, which becomes more and more difficult to go back on. The argument for me anyway of, oh, my web, I wear the posture to, to remind me that I'm doing, you know, I'm sitting up straight. It just doesn't really hold water. You forget, we're all human beings. We forget, we forget we're holding things. We forget our coffee cups there. You know, we put our car keys down on the kitchen table and forget two minutes later that they're there and run around the house trying to find them. So the notion that this little strap is gonna remind you to hold your posture all day is really quite laughable. And from experience, it just doesn't work. That being said, the little device I mentioned at the start of this video, we'll talk about that later because that might have the answer for you, a, a legitimate way to remind you to keep your posture upright every day. 
So I put the spine down, got that out of the way. Now, what are you actually gonna to do to help your posture? What are you gonna to use to brace your posture, to improve your support for your spine and for your body so it doesn't affect your back pain? You're gonna work out, you're gonna do exercises. Now, we've got tons of exercises in the Back in Shape program. There'll be a card up here or a link down here where you can learn more, but they're simple exercises that work the muscles between our shoulder blades to hold our chest out, an engagement of the core to support everything, and also those lower back muscles. Again, exercises in backinshapeprogram.com. You can see more there but do those exercises and you should do them in a slow progressive manner meaning that this week you learn how to do them next week you do a little bit more and the week after you do a little bit more and so on and so forth so those muscles get stronger coupled with a concerted conscious effort to sit up straighter every day and that really is the secret to building a better posture brace your own built-in one which every single one of us have you have too that is the way you're going to really improve your posture and help your back pain for the long term so I mentioned earlier on in this video that there was a little technological solution and actually the motivation for this video was um, the videos that we've had in the past talking about posture. I thought, you know what, let's try and find something that actually makes sense because like you've probably gathered in this video, I don't really buy the argument that wearing a brace reminds you, it reminds you when you put it on, but not after that. So we went out and looked for this posture uh, trainer device. So you can get it off Amazon. We bought it, we thought, you know what, let me see if it actually can fit one of those two things. Well, it isn't gonna train you for you, that's for sure. But from a reminder point of view, it actually really works quite well. You, you take it out, it's a small little device. You can see it here, there'll probably be a picture or, or link in the description underneath here. And you basically stick it just where your collar is or where your collar would sit on the back of your spine at the top part. You set it when you're sat in your chair at your workstation and then that's set. And you can set a little reminder so it buzzes you on the back of your neck whenever you're sat in a slouch position for 15 seconds, 30 seconds or a minute, you program that yourself. Um, in one time. So then if you sat there for 15 seconds, it'll give you the buzz and oh, reminder to use your own muscles to sit back up. I actually noticed that I was doing some editing on some of the videos and noticed that you were kind of going back forwards quite frequently when you're trying to edit fine pieces. And many of you guys that are working from home right now will probably experience similar sort of things. And it was a little bit of a, hey, you need to work at this more. And you can feel those muscles starting to work through the day if you really listen to the device and don't throw it out the window. Um, so it is a pretty interesting one. Uh, going through this video, we've explained a number of things that you guys need to do, but I do think it can help you potentially with addressing that technique side, that conscious effort to sit up straight without interfering with the muscle component. So super easy to use and we'll have a link in the description, as I mentioned earlier, where you can learn more about it. Uh, just a little disclaimer, we actually bought this off our own back off Amazon, it cost about 80 pounds, uh, 83 pounds I think it was. Uh, we're not sponsored or anything by them, we just found a device that hopefully it can help you been using it ourselves for a couple of days and actually can give you an honest review. So as with the teeter table a month or so ago, we're going to be giving this away as well. Uh, so to enter the competition, you can just go down to the bottom of this page. There'll be a link in the description if you're watching us on YouTube or maybe even a card probably over my head. It's free to enter and we'll be announcing the giveaway winner later this month. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found it full of useful information. Remember, there's those two essential points for posture and good posture when it comes to back pain. That is the conscious effort and that is the muscle work. These posture braces that you wear, I don't really buy them and I don't think they work. That being said, you do have this technological solution that we've mentioned today for the giveaway. So that might be something to look into, but it doesn't replace conscious effort and hard work to build up those muscles on the back. You do that, you're gonna be great. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you did find it helpful, give us a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, and we look forward to seeing you in another video. If you wanna learn more about the premium Back in Shape membership, there's gonna be a video somewhere underneath here. And if you wanna stay up to date or tune in to some of our more recent live streams and the Q and A's at the end of those, then that's gonna be down here. And remember, you can subscribe to the channel up here and hit the notification bell to make sure you know when we next go live so you can join us for our next live stream and Q&A.